Hey y'all, just a quick update on the draw call optimizer. You see here I'm just creating a level that um, to test if it's all. We can just try to add some more trees here. Yeah, I created many objects and uh, it should pull up the draw calls. Then we can try to save it. Draw call 10. I made many tests, so saving level. And then we are just going to try to run it in uh, Game Guru to see how fast it is and check how many draw calls it generate. So it's preparing vegetation, creating AI. So we are back and the uh, game guru finished processing those thousands of models and we can now try to check their FPS. Yeah, around 23. Let's see how many draw calls we have. Okay, we have, n yeah, we nearly have thousand. So you can't really trust this number as uh, depending on your settings, but uh, Normally you have to uh, multiply that number by 10, so actually we nearly have 10,000 draw calls in this scene. So, we can either try to exit all this and convert it into game code loader here. Draw call 10 we called it. That's it. And then run it. And let's see what we get. It is loading. Loading. Generating a reflection probe. And running. Yeah. You can see here we get around 30 FPS. Yeah, around 30. So it's a little bit faster than Game Guru. But that is mainly because uh, Game Guru has a lot more Cascade Shadows. It has eight. And uh, each time you have one object and render one Cascade Shadows, it takes one draw call. So, and that's why we have to multiply the number by 10. So we, you, you had nearly 10,000 uh, draw calls in Game Guru. Here we are only doing two Cascade Shadows, and um, so we have a lot less draw calls. And so it's a bit faster than Game Guru, and that's why the main reason why. But that's not it. We should uh, we have around 30 FPS, and now we can try to use the draw call optimizer. You see here the function is called Merge Objects Together, and you can read here how to use it. I already prepared this so uh, we don't have to you don't have to get bored me sitting here coding so I'm just activating it actually it's only a few lines of code so it's not that bad and then we run it with the optimizer on it's loading again and in a moment it will start to merge the object together. Yeah, it does that now. And it will take a little time, but uh, it has to process everything, every single object and uh, convert it into a mem block and change the vertex data for rotation and placement relatively to the other objects and rotate the normals and everything. But now you can see it's all okay, it's done now. It took around 30 seconds. But again, we, if you check the FPS, we get nearly 60, 60 FPS. So yeah, we, we are nearly doubling, nearly doubling the FPS. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. 
here we try to look from here you can see how the meshes are merged together here we have the red one you have four here <laughs> And they are merged together in pairs. Same color, a two merged object, or more objects that are merged. You see those two trees are merged together. So, if you look at the numbers, you can see that uh, we actually, by doing these optimizations we actually saved 2680 draw calls which is a lot and it takes a long time for the GPU to process all those state changes so I'm pretty happy with this result so um, well and sure all those colors is or uh, debug colors I can just try if you go below water and up again it would change to normal and this is how it will look normally there will be no difference in the visuals. So, okay, that's the draw call optimizer and how it works. Until next time, have a great day. Oh, by the way, I should mention that uh, you don't have to use this for Game Guru or Game Guru Loader. You can just take the function and adapt to your own project if you have another 3D project and then use the same mesh merge to get the, the draw call optimization so you can adapt this function to your own if you like you don't have to use it with game guru or game guru loader so yeah you can do that with all the function in game guru loader so just wish to i just wanted to mention that so have a nice day